Hello everyone, I hope you're having a fantastic day. In this video, we are going to be now hitting all Elden Ring bosses in New Game Plus with the most incredible and fun Knight Rider Glaive build. This beautiful halberd is an extremely broken weapon that plenty of you guys are using without being aware of its true potential. For some reason, a lot of players use the Knight Rider Glaive with the Flaming Strike Ash of War. I'm pretty sure it's due to the ability of buffing the weapon with fire despite of the affinity you choose, but even though that sounds great, indeed it isn't, since the best affinity you can choose for this weapon is heavy, which will grant you an escape on strength, and with the heavy affinity you can buff your weapon with any element you want, allowing you to use a bunch of better ashes of war to deal a lot of more damage, while being capable of buffing your weapon as you wish. In this case, that ash of war is spinning strikes, a really powerful skill that will allow you to hit your target multiple times while spending a very low amount of FP and stamina, besides of being insanely easy to use as well. Nevertheless, it's very important to pick the right weapon buff to get the most out of this combo, and that will be Blood Flame Blade, which will be a key element to make of this build a nightmare for every single enemy and boss. The best part of this build is that it's useful in every scenario, there is not a single situation in the game where this thing doesn't shine. You can get this halberd so fast in early game, all you need to do is to defeat the Knight's Cavalry boss fight that lures the Velum Highway close to the East Raya Lucaria Gate on Lyurna of the Lakes. As you can see, despite of the Knight Rider Glaive being mostly an strength weapon, under the correct parameters we can create a monster that deals a huge amount of physical and fire damage while building up bleed so fast, entirely breaking the game difficulty and destroying all bosses in just a few seconds. First of all, I'm going to show you the build and then we will be the major boss of the game without taking a single hit. We are going to use the Knight Rider Glaive on plus 25 with the Spinning Strike Sash of War on the Heavy Affinity, and we need the Claw Mark Seal to increase the power of Blood Flame Blade and to cast our main buffs. If you want, you can use the Commander's Standard as an alternative aura buff in short fights to deal a little bit of more damage. I'm going to be using the Knight's Cavalry Armor set cause it looks amazing with this setup and it provides good defense stats. However, feel free to use any other armor set you like. The most effective talismans for this build are the Ritual Sword Talisman, the Shard of Alexander, the Millicent's Prosthesis, and the Rodin Windsor Insignia. If you are missing one of these talismans, the Fire Scorpion Charm is a great alternative for this build. In our Flask of Wondrous Physique, we will use the Thorny Crack Tear and the Fire Shrouding Crack Tear, but in some scenarios, the Stomar Crack Tear is really useful as well. Surprisingly, this build doesn't consume a lot of stamina, but if you play like a maniac as I do, then be sure to have some of these bad boys. In order to obtain the max performance of this build, we need Forion Vigor, 26 on Mind, and Forion Endurance. We need to level up Strength to 80, Fate to 60, and we need a minimum of 10 points on Arcane. Golden Vow, Hall of Shabriri, and Blood Flame Blade are going to be our main buffs. Now that we have completed and optimized our build, what do you say if we begin with the boss fight? If you don't want to farm runes or materials for your Elden Ring builds, MMOEXP is the best web service where you can easily acquire as much runes and items as you wish for the best price. Use my code CARLOSEN to get a 5% discount on your purchases. Thanks MMOEXP for sponsoring today's video. Hey Margit, it's me again! Oh my goodness, bro! <laughs> the cool thing about Blood Flame Blade is that it keeps dealing damage in a certain amount of time. There you are, bro. Nice. This is actually good. Don't move. Don't dare to move, bro. Wow! <laughs> 22, 24, 25k damage on this guy, bro. No way. <laughs> Wolfie, it's me. Give me the jump. Give me the jump. Nice, nice, nice. This is really good, guys. Come on. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Just going fast and crazy with this weapon, baby. Hey, bro. No. I'm too far. I don't like that. I'm not that really far, you know? And this thing is way too crazy, man. Oh, perfect. Give it to me. Nice. No way, bro. <laughs> uh, recently, one of you guys asked me how do I skip the first part of Radan's fight. What you have to do is once you teleport, you have to start uh, running backwards and use your horse as soon as possible. Like, like this. And, and you just drop here and he will not attack you. You can buff here and then you run there and he will attack you with melee attacks instead than with the arrows. And I'm going to show you right now. Okay guys, and the buff routine goes like this. First of all, you use Golden Vow. Then Pickle Turtle Neck. Then your Physic. Then Blood Flame Blade. And Hall of Shabri. And now we are going to go to the fight and you will notice 
Havradan doesn't attack us with the with the arrows. It will attack us with the attackos, <laughs> attackos with the melee attacks like this. Can you see it? And I'm gonna bait the charge attack like this. And you go crazy. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna destroy him. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> crazy build, bro. <laughs> and here we go. Come on. Oh, this seems to be good. This seems to be great. <laughs> it is great, baby. <laughs> wow. The recent builds have been so broken, man. <laughs> Come on, give it to me. Let's go. <laughs> it was a long fight to be this fight, you know. <laughs> First try, maybe. First try. Give it to me, bro. Oh my god, I was close. Come on, non stop. Non stop. <laughs> Crazy, bro! <laughs> wow, it was really fast! What a nasty build, man. That was close. It's always close, actually. No way, that was so fast! Thankfully, I'm close. <laughs> Give it to me. Oh, crazy damage. Not that crazy. Oh, no! Whoa. It became crazy suddenly, bro. <laughs> I think... Here's the right distance. Nice. Oh. <laughs> oh. Did you like that haircut, man? <laughs> I'm the best barber in the lands between, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And I have enough time to do this, bro. I'm going crazy on you. Oh my god! Oh, nice. Let's go. A little bit weird, but let's go. We are going to melt this guy down, guys. Get ready, get ready, guys. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, no mercy. Boom. Over. Let's go. Almost the entire HP bar, dude. Just by holding a bottom, man. <laughs> well, in my case, it's two bottoms, but you got me, right? Come on. What is going on? Nice. Nice. Let's go. I'm in range. <laughs> uh, I was getting scared because I was hitting nothing, bro. Let's go! <laughs> I love that one, baby. Oh, it was completely worth it, guys. It took me like an hour, but it's okay. <laughs> Let's go crazy, baby. Come on. Wow. <laughs> Come on. Stopping the second phase. Come on. 
Come on. Come on. Let's go! <laughs> Amazing kill, baby. <laughs> this is a sick build, boys. Hey, man. Are you prepared for this? Because I'm not. Let's go! Let's go! Amazing, guys! Beautiful match! <laughs> Come on, let's go! <laughs> enough stamina, enough of everything, baby. <laughs> hey, Mog. Oh, this is really nice, bro. This is really nice from you, buddy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank you, bro. <laughs> you get yourself in the best position. 30k, guys! 34k damage, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Nice. This might be the best RNG of the world. Nah. Hold on, hold on. I can't make it. Nice. I can't believe it's happening. What is happening, bro? Let's go! This is it. This is it, guys. Let's go. <laughs> I knew it, baby. It is possible. Come on! Oh my god, this guy. Run! Run, 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 run! <laughs> <laughs> 